Hello, I'm Timothy Hobbs, and today I'd like to talk to you about the future of cloud storage. So cloud storage right now is this idea that we have this cloud somewhere. We have a computer down here, right? And when we want to store something, we send it up to the cloud. And when we want to retrieve something, we get it back. And the nice thing about cloud storage is that when we send something up to the cloud, we don't have to think about how much disk space we have left. And we also don't have to think about where we're going to retrieve that data from. So right now, cloud storage is all about transmitting and storing data, right? And the future of cloud storage today Cloud storage is all about transmitting and storing data in a flexible size and location agnostic fa fa fashion. Okay, so the f uh, how do you spell that? It's not correct, fashion. Uh, and the problem with this is that it's great and we're missing a key part, which is the ability to store things. I can't upload my winter coats to the cloud. And I really do want to be able to upload my winter coats to the cloud. So uh, the future of cloud storage is all about tran tr transporting and storing anything in a flexible size and location agnostic fashion. So if I am thinking about the fact that it's October now and I'm getting ready for ski season, I might want to get out my skis. And why would I store my skis all summer in the cellar of my house? That's just silly. What I want is to have an app that has all my files in it, like Dropbox, you know? Uh, and when I scroll through it, I have my resume, I have some copies of my birth certificate and everything, I have all the tax records as data, of course. And I should also have my skis in my Dropbox, you know? And I should be able to then say, okay, it's October, bring me my skis. And my skis should come. I, I should also be able to connect this with certain services. I should get, be able to get the skis waxed, you know? Uh, they should come perfectly set up. And the same with um, uh, winter coats and pictures of my relatives, you know, the physical photographs, maybe some children's clothes that I'm sentimentally attached to, but I don't really need to keep around. I should just send them to my Dropbox, you know, and, and have them in the cloud and be able to get them back whenever I want. Of course, I'm going to pay monthly, but I already pay monthly for the data storage. I should just be able to pay monthly for the things storage too. And when I need toilet paper, I, I should just it should just be there. It should be like something I can retrieve from my cloud. Even though I actually don't have a bunch of toilet paper that I'm hoarding, it should be something that's as automatic as just retrieving it from the cloud, uh, the items that I frequently, regularly purchase. So there's three aspects of cloud storage, uh, of the future of the cloud storage. Um, future cloud storage storage has four, I guess I said has various aspects. I can store data, right? I can store things and retrieve them from anywhere. Really, ideally, I should be able to 
put my um, my suit, you know, like the good suit, the funeral suit, or the wedding suit, into cloud storage, I should be able to fly to Japan and then click on my, my wedding suit and it should come, right? And why not, you know? It should be completely location agnostic. So I'm in Japan and I need my wedding suit because I'm going to a wedding in Japan. I should uh, be able to just get it. Uh, I see that I'm a little bit um, mixed, mixed up here. So I'm going to have to move this up there. Um, now go back to text and I can retrieve items I don't own like buying from Amazon but they should be retrievable as easily as if I did own them. My cloud store should also contain a lot of data I don't own. For example, every film and a uh, book ever made. The thing about this is that since we've added to the concept of cloud storage the idea of having physical items, then you have a retrieval cost, the cost of shipping. And so it just makes sense, once you have a retrieval cost, to be able to have the retrieval cost of toilet paper be the cost of shipping plus the cost of acquisition and the retrieval cost of a film be the cost of the film, right? Uh, and so what else would I want to say about this? Well, there's a big question, which is how much is it going to be costing us to be sending the skis to the warehouse and then retrieving them? For rich people, obviously, that doesn't matter, but for normal people, uh, it does. And what I've been thinking is that maybe we should have a new kind of logistics company that's a lot like the milkman of olden days that just comes by regularly. You pay a monthly fee and you just have deliveries and maybe daily deliveries. You know, you have, you, we can afford to have a weekly garbage man come by. Society hasn't gone bankrupt. So why can't we have a daily or a weekly cloud storage man come by and bring us our skis, bring us our winter coats, bring us our funeral suit, whatever. Um, of course, uh, it's going to cost money, but having a bunch of extra space in your house also costs money. And when we build out the new Internet of Things, you know, not the Internet of Things, but the actual real Internet of Things, the Internet that transports things, moves around physical items. If we have that be the norm, then it's not going to cost that much, just as garbage service doesn't cost that much. Because, um, well, it's just something universal. The garbage man just drives through the street. It doesn't even take him that long. An important aspect of the garbage man not taking that long is he doesn't have to pick up the individual pieces of garbage. He just takes the trash can and dumps it into his truck. We're going to need standardized boxes, reusable boxes, hopefully, uh, for moving things into our cloud storage and out of them. And one of the things that I'm not sure about yet is how do you store skis in a reusable box, right? Yeah. You're going to have a standardized box size and you want to be able to put the key, skis in storage and they're in unusual shape. So that's not really quite figured out yet, but I can say for one thing, one for certain that it's not that hard to pick up a, piece, a pair of skis and put it into a truck. Uh, so maybe the very bulky items would just have an extra fee associated with them.
I guess another thing that's interesting to think about is how do you deal with things like mold and stuff? Uh, if a person puts, mm, I don't know, a bunch of wet socks into a box and puts them in cloud storage, you know, they, they got done with soccer season, they put their soccer shorts in and their, their soccer socks and they just seal it up and there, there, there's like moisture in there and it just gets really rank. Uh, that's bad, not just for them, that their sports equipment is going to be disgusting when they get it back, but it potentially has the ability to contaminate the other things in the warehouse. Um, unsolved problem. Uh, there's also the unsolved problem, what happens if somebody puts a bomb in the box and sends it off to the warehouse and everything in the warehouse is incinerated? Um, also kind of problematic. Not sure if I have a good solution for that yet. Security. I don't know. Uh, I guess the, the, the last thing is like, how do you stop somebody from storing a bunch of cocaine in there? Um, and the fact is that people already can send cocaine by post, and they do. And sometimes they're caught, and that's just, that's kind of a solved problem, to be honest. We just, punish people when they do things that are illegal. And since the cocaine's not going to explode or contaminate other items, it's not such a big problem uh, for the storage company. It's just a matter of law enforcement, really. Um, what else is there to say? Hmm. Well, I just think that whether this really is the future comes down to storage costs and logistics costs. and. It's a tipping point problem. Once logistics costs go low enough, then obviously this will become a thing, I think. There's also the question of how long it takes the, to get the items. If it's the weekly garbage man that's, or the weekly cloud storage man that's taking things, you ha can't store items in your cloud storage that you need at less than a week's notice. And so your funeral suit, which you might need within three days' notice, can't be stored if you only have weekly delivery. Um, of course, you could have like extra express delivery that was really, really fast, Uber Eats style. You know, the guy on the motorbike comes to your house in 20 minutes uh, for an extra fee. Um, but that would go along with uh, storage prices. Uh, that if the storage is going to be somewhere far outside the city where storage is really cheap, then the Uber Eats guy is going to have to drive an hour out of the city and it's not going to be in 20 minutes, it's going to be in an hour and 20 minutes. So maybe you'll have different levels of storage. You'll have it so that uh, in one, uh, that, that, that your funeral suit is going to be um, S3 style storage, you know, you need to have it uh, ready to go immediately and the pictures of your long dead great grandmother would be an S3 glacier, you know, the long term storage. I think I'm running out of things to say here, so I'm just going to, um, to shut this off, I guess. But yeah, that's the future of cloud storage.